So today a but appearance ceremony of Lord Krishna. In the Bhagavad Gita, the Lord says, Janma karma me divyam jujana ti tattata tattade hang punar janma nai ti mame ti kaunch. My dear John, any person who simply tries to understand uh, about my transcendental birth or appearance and disappearance and activity, The personality of Godhead is not niskriya, without activities. So, anyone who can understand so what kind of activities the Lord has and what kind of birth He accepts, Simply by understanding these two things, uh, one gets wonderful result. What is that? Tattādiham. By quitting this body, tattādiham punar janmanaiti. He does not get any more birth in this material world. Uh, Tattādi haṁ punat janma naiti. Some of us may think that punat janma naiti means he becomes vanquished. No, punat janma naiti, but ma maiti. He does not come to this material world, but he comes to me, ma maiti. means then, the Supreme Personality of Godhead has got His place abode where we can go simply by understanding the nature of His appearance and activity. So today is that auspicious day, Janmashtami, when Lord Krishna appeared five thousand years ago in India, Mathura, uh, those who are Indian ladies and gentlemen present, they know very well where is Mathura. It is about ninety miles. Uh, south of New Delhi, the Mathura is still existing and it is eternally existing. The Krishna appeared in Mathura in his maternal uncle's house in a very precarious condition. Uh, that birthplace Lord Krishna's birthplace is now maintained very nicely. One who goes to India, they see. Uh, so anyway, Lord Krishna appeared on this planet uh, 5,000 years ago. Now Krishna says, Janma karma me divyam. Divyam means not ordinary. Uh, it should not be understood just like we take our birth. Krishna does not take his birth like us. That is also explained in the Bhagavad Gita when Arjun inquired from Krishna, My dear Krishna, you are speaking that formerly you spoke 
this yoga system of Bhagavad Gita to the sun god. That means it is millions and trillions years ago. You spoke. How can I believe it? Because Krishna was contemporary to Arjun, so he was thinking that uh, Krishna is my friend, is my cousin, brother. How it is possible? that he spoke this Bhagavad-gītā yoga to the sun god. So what was the reply? The reply was this, that you also appeared many, many times, I also appeared many, many times. The difference is that I can remember, you cannot remember. That is the difference between God and ordinary living creature. That uh, we are also taking birth after birth. Uh, there are eight million four hundred thousand species of life, and so long we are in this material world, we are cycling around this birth after birth. So Krishna's birth is not like that. Therefore Krishna says, Janma karma me divyam, ju janati tapat. Tapat means in truth, not superficially, scientifically, one who knows. He can get immediately liberation. And how one can understand the same truth? That is also explained in the Bhagavad Gita. Bhaktya Vama Vijanati Javan Jaschami Tattata. Again, the same thing, Tattata, in truth. If anyone wants to know God or Krishna, in truth, not superficial, then he has to undertake the process of devotion and service, bhaktya. In another place, Krishna says, patram puspam phalam toyam jumi bhaktya prajachati. Any person who gives me a little fruit, little flower, little water, but with devotion, Bhaktya. That is the only qualification. Ah. Krishna says, Taya bhaktya upurikam asnami. Because he brings it with devotion and faith and love, I eat. Ah. Krishna eats. We are offering in the temple prasadam. So he eats. Because he says, I eat. How you can say that he does not eat? Uh, some gentleman uh, asked me that, uh, uh, Samiji, you offer prasadam in the temple, but do you think uh, Krishna or God eats? I answered, yes, why not? He says, I eat. How you can say? He does not eat. But he do not know how he eats. Uh, due to poor fund of knowledge, you think that God does not eat. But eat, his eating process is different. That is answered in the Brahma Sangita. Brahma Sangita, it is said, Angani Yasa Sapalindriya Vitti Manti. God's senses, Krishna's senses, are as powerful 
एज आधार करें जस्ट लाइक आई कैन सी विथ माई आईज बट कृष्ण का ईट ऑल्सो इट इज आईज अंगा जस्त सकल इंद्रिय व्यक्ति मानती जस्ट आई देर इज मेनी एक्जाम्पल्स कृष्ण और विष्णु द फर्स्ट क्रिएशन इज दैट गर्भोषाई विष्णु लाइंग ऑन दी होर्स एंड एंड ब्रह्मा वॉज क्रिएटेड फ्रॉम हिज नैरल there was a lotus stain grown from the abdomen of the lord and brahma was born la lakshmi the goddess of fortune was just sitting but as we understand that if we beget child we require the cooperation of wife but here we see that wife was sitting but he begot brahma from the nana this is called sarva shakti ma he does not require anyone's help uh, he can be a child uh, not exactly as we be a child therefore janma karma me divyam he is within your heart he is everywhere he can appear from everywhere ah. just like sun rises from the eastern side it does not mean that a eastern side is the mother of sun we simply see that sun is rising from the eastern side in this way if we try to understand uh, in truth ah uh, then we can understand what is god uh, superficially if we try to understand by our experimental knowledge then it is not possible to understand god panthas koti satavasta sampradamya bayo rathapi manaso munipangavana शपस्ति जब प्रबद सीम न अभिचिंत तत्ते गोविंद मादि पुरुषम तवाहं भजामि द ब्रह्म संगीता से दैट इफ वन स्टार्स ऑन द चैरियट ऑफ एयर एंड मेक्स प्रोग्रेस ऑन द स्पीड ऑफ माइंड स्टिल वन कैन नॉट अंडरस्टैंड व्हाट इज गॉड बेदेशु दुर्लभ अदुर्लभ आप भक्त हो ही कैन नॉट बी अंडरस्टूड सिंपली बाय स्टार्टिंग बेदा त्रैगुण विषया वेदा निस्त्रैगुण भवाज वन हैज टू ट्रांसेंड द पोजिशन ऑफ बेदा इज ऑल्सो देन वन कैन अंडरस्टैंड व्हाट इज गॉड और व्हाट इज कृष्ण तो दैट प्रोसेस इज एक्सप्लेन इन दी भगवद गीता भक्तिया नाम अभिजानाती जावान जस्ता तत्वता सो दिस भक्ति डिवोशनल सर्विस ऑफ कृष्ण इज सो नाइस एंड अंडर दैट भक्ति कैटेगरी दिस जन्माष्टमी of course this janmashtami ceremony is observed uh, by all hindus irrespective of becoming uh vishnava or not this ceremony is observed in india every home just like in your uh western countries the christmas is observed in every home similarly janmashtami is observed in every home uh, today is a great ceremonial day uh, so uh, our program is at 12 o'clock night the lord will take part 
uh, and we shall receive him. And just now it is ten o'clock, but two hours our program will continue uh, in Kirtan. Kirtan means sometimes chanting with music and sometimes speaking. Both of them are Kirtan. Kirtati iti Kirtan. Whenever we glorify the Lord, that is called Kirtan. Uh, the Srimad Bhagavatam reading is also Kirtan. Avabad uh, Vaiyasa ki Kirtan. Vaiyasa ki Sukadev Goswami, he uh, achieved the highest perfection, liberation, simply by reciting Srimad Bhagavatam. Uh, Sri Vishnu Smara. Uh, uh, Sri Vishnu Sapane Parikhit. Parikhit Maharaj, he simply heard there are nine processes of devotion and service. Savanam Kirtanam Vishnu Smaranam Padasevanam. Chanting, hearing, first hearing, then chant. Without hearing, nobody can chant. Savanam Kirtanam and what sort of Savanam Kirtanam? Vishnu of Vishnu, not anything else. Savanam Kirtanam Vishnu Smaranam Padasevanam Archanam Bandhanam Dasyam Sakham Atmani Vedanam. These are nine processes of uh, devotional service of which Savanam, hearing, is most important. Without hearing, nobody can understand the science of God. Therefore, the Vedic mantras are called Suti. Suti means it is to be heard. It is not to be experimented in the laboratory. It is simply to be heard. Therefore it is called Suti. The Savanam Kirtanam Vishnu Smaranam Parasivanam Achadam Bandhanam Dasam Bandhanam Offering prayer. Uh, we also offer prayer. The other religious sect, just like the Christians, they offer prayer. The Mahavidans, they offer prayer. So prayer, offering prayer is also one of the items of bhakti, chanting, hearing, meditating, offering prayers, uh, archanam, worshipping the deity in the temple, all of them are uh, together devotional service. So out of the nine, if you can execute all the nine, it is very good, but it is not possible. So even if you can execute one item, you become perfect. It is so nice. Uh, Sri Vishnu Savane Parikhi, just like Maharaj Parikhi, he simply executed the function of hearing. He got perfection. Similarly, uh, by Avavad Vaiyasa ki kirtane. Vaiyasa ki kirtane Sukhdev Goswami, he simply glorified the Lord. Prahladas Marane. Prahlad Maharaj, he was simply meditating. Ah. There are many examples simply by following one principle of the devotional service. They got the highest perfection alive. Uh, liberation uh, back to home, back to Godhead. So we shall invite today to speak about Krishna from our students as well as from the members who are present here. So I, I shall request Janardhan to speak something 
about his realization of Krishna.